In this video, we are going to disassemble and reassemble the Miyambi for surgery. Let's start off with a quick introduction of the components. A 5 milliliter syringe, a three-way stopcock, a 21G needle, plastic tubing, a balloon harboring device, and the Miyambi end deflator. Disassemble the end deflator into three parts by unscrewing the square base, then separating the glass tube from the plunger. Sterilize an autoclave. After sterilization of all parts in an autoclave, take the handle of the end deflator and wet both rubber gaskets with sterile saline. Then wet the inside of the glass tube and insert the handle. Insert that assembly into the metal syringe and screw it gently. When inserting, make sure the digits are in the upright position and as you tighten it down, the digits are visible in the viewing window. Upon completion of the assembly, make sure the digits are viewable and the release button is in an accessible position. Connect the 21G needle to the end deflator and aspirate 10 milliliters of sterile saline. Remove the air and bubbles from the end deflator. Remove the 21G needle and connect the three-way stopcock to the end deflator. Aspirate 5 milliliters of contrast material into the syringe. Connect the syringe to the lateral side of the three-way stopcock. Attach the plastic tubing to the stopcock. The stopcock shows the liquid flow direction. Make sure to expel a small portion of liquid from the end deflator to release any air from the stopcock. Now change the direction of the flow on the stopcock to fill the tubing with contrast liquid. Make sure there are no air bubbles remaining in the tubing. Now cut the distal end of the tubing and connect to the balloon harboring device. Once the balloon harboring device is connected, 
you must check the balloon's integrity by inflating it with one to one and a half milliliters of contrast fluid.